in the news over the last couple of days. Uh, we've had another reminder uh, in this big dump of data coming out of Panama that tax avoidance is a big global problem. It's not unique to other countries because, frankly, there are folks here in America who are taking advantage of the same stuff. A lot of it's legal, but that's exactly the problem. It's not that they're breaking the laws, it's that the laws are so poorly designed that they allow people, if they've got enough lawyers and enough accountants, to wiggle out of responsibilities that ordinary citizens uh, are having to abide by. Here in the United States, there are loopholes that only wealthy individuals and powerful cor corporations have access to. They have access to offshore accounts, and they are gaming the system. Middle class families are not in the same position to do this. In fact, a lot of these loopholes come at the expense of middle class families because that lost revenue has to be made up somewhere. Alternatively, it means that we're not investing as much as we should in schools, in making college more affordable, in putting people back to work, rebuilding our roads, our bridges, our infrastructure, creating more opportunities for our children. So this is important stuff. And these new actions by the Treasury Department build on steps that we've already taken to make the system fairer. But I want to be clear, while the Treasury Department actions will make it more difficult and less lucrative for companies to exploit this particular corporate inversions loophole. Only Congress can close it for good. And only Congress can make sure that all the other loopholes that are being taken advantage of are closed. I've often said the best way to end this kind of irresponsible behavior is with tax reform that lowers the corporate tax rate closes wasteful loopholes, simplifies the tax code for everybody. And in recent years, I've put forward plans repeatedly that would make our t tax system more competitive for all businesses, including small businesses. Uh, so far, Republicans in Congress have yet to act. Uh, my hope is that they start getting serious about it. When politicians perpetuate a system that favors the wealthy at the expense of the middle class, it's not surprising that people feel like they can't get ahead. It's not surprising that oftentimes it may produce a politics that uh, is directed at that frustration. Rather than doubling down on policies that let a few big corporations or the wealthiest among us play by their own rules, we should keep building an economy where everybody has a fair shot and everybody plays by the same rules. Rather than protect wasteful tax loopholes for the few at the top, we should be investing more in things like education and job creation and job training that we know grow the economy for everybody. And rather than lock in tax breaks for millionaires or make it harder to actually enforce existing laws, let's give tax breaks to help working families pay for child care or for college, and let's stop rewarding companies that are shipping jobs overseas and profit overseas, and start rewarding companies that create jobs right here at home and are good corporate citizens. That's how we're going to build America together. That's how we battled back from this great recession. That's the story of these past seven years. That can be the story for the next several decades if we make the right decisions right now. And so I hope this topic ends up being introduced into the broader political debate uh, that we're going to be having leading up to election season. If and everyone in the world will applaud us.